the race is all about, what's going to happen on race day and leading up to race day. But I'll start first by dwelling a little bit more on the partnership that we've got with Limo Mall and whether we've got the ability as this partnership to deliver on this amount of task that we've put in front of us. Um, last year in October, uh, as a collective, we, we gave you the Limo Color Run. It was a 10 kilometer and a 5 kilometer. Very successful race. It was part of the Limo uh, fest festivities. Uh, we had about 650 runners that joined us on that day. Now, if, if you just consider that it was 5 and 10 kilometers, those numbers are huge. Um, now we're saying we're adding 21 and um, uh, 42 onto, onto those distances. Now, as a club as well, we're talking comrades qualify. Um, I think people will say, um, what do you know about organizing a comrades qualifier? Uh, as a club, we've done in excess of five events. One of them which we pride ourselves in was the, what we call the Titanium's Marathon, which included a Columbrates qualifier last year in, in, um, in April uh, of 2023. A very successful race. About 160 people qualified for Columbrates at that race, and they managed to use their results. Uh, to actually go and run Comrades. In that particular event, we had about 720 athletes across all distances. Now, what we also pride ourselves and what Limo, as Limo Mall Mangabu Marathon will pride itself in as well, is that in the events that we've done, including um, the Limo Fest itself, there were no safety incidents that were reported. So we, we, we bring about safe events and we make sure that our planning is up to the team to ensure that our patrons are, are actually looked after. Um, about the Limo Mall Marathon itself, um, it will be an independent marathon or, or, or um, okay, um, This is just a picture that shows you after the race um, that people had a, a good time and managed to mingle. You can see there are kids. People from the community actually came and, and, and enjoyed their day with us. So our race is on the 4th of May. Um, and as I indicated, it consists of those uh, four distances. The intention, as the Tepubudan has indicated, is that this will be an annual event. Um, and we want to grow from strength to strength. You will see. Uh, when we get to our prize money as well, we're trying to teach the race um, uh, a little bit above where everybody is in our, in, in our province, but we, we're hoping to, um, to improve as time goes on. Now, why, why a marathon? A marathon um, obviously attracts uh, mass participation. You, you don't necessarily need to be an elite to run. You don't need to be a professional. Any of us can run, can walk, that's why we were a five kilometer. So the intention is that we want to be inclusive, we want everybody to participate, we want the community to be, to be part of this event. Um, I think on many occasions that is where we indicated that um, we invested in, in the township so that people can own um, uh, the investment that we made in the city and we are saying come and have um, a wonderful time with us. On this particular day, and we want people to also. There are people that don't necessarily have an opportunity to um, to soak into the classic culture from either their backgrounds, where they stay, and whatever. So it's an opportunity to come and see what's happening in the classic. What what are the people up to? What is the vibe? So, so it's also a learning experience to some. Um, in terms of um, our logo. Uh, that that we've come up with that is the Marathon. So we've taken the um, the Limo Mall logo, logo as it is and we've incorporated the running shoe into our logo. Uh, you see there's also a concrete page that means that it's a, a concrete qualified and just just to to lay other people's fears that are uh, esteemed runners and we, we've got permission from the Marathon. marathon. The race is registered on our website as a qualifier. We've done all the necessary things for it that we require. Yes, we are confident to say this is a complex qualifier. Um, we also use the maroon of the Kenworth group. Um, 
into, into, into the logo that we're using. And uh, the payoff line or the tagline the tag has been indicated that your roots are good. Um, yeah, just, just some of the objectives. Um, I, I think I've indicated some, but the intention is also to promote healthy living. Uh, we want the community to be engaged, to be part of, of what we, we're bringing forward. But also, we're teaching this uh, at a national level. That's why we say we need to compete with those races that we've got across the country so that we contribute to the economic growth and economic activity of our city by bringing um, sports tourism into, into our city. Um, and of course, uh, as a local organizing committee of the LMMM or the Limumor Mangaum Marathon, we are engaging with all government institutions to assist us to make this a reality. And, uh, we, we've got the MMC uh, from, from Mangaung with us here today. Three State Tourism is part of our discussions. And, and all these people that have been brought in to assist us to, to realize this, this dream that we have got. Now, in terms of the goals of the marathon, in terms of the numbers, uh, our intention is to attract a minimum of 1,200 athletes. Uh, across all the four distances. Now, the question is with that is, I've given you 720 for the Titanium Marathon that we've had, I've given you 650 for the 10 and the 5 kilometers only. Uh, and I can indicate that those particular reasons in terms of marketing, our marketing was, was, was done a little bit late. Now, with, with regards to this race, we started preparations in November of last year. We sent out the date. Um, in December 